Hey, what is up, YouTube? Today on the Geeks Tech Corner, we're going to be installing the Samsung Galaxy S2 GSH i7 7 Pac Man ROM. <laughs> This is uh, a ROM that's going to have Android 4, Android 4.2.2 and as you can see it has a tablet look to it. That's the biggest part of it. I'm going to be doing a review later on and well first of all you guys are going to need to download this link and the gaps. Without the gaps you won't be able to have the Google Play Store and all those uh, Google apps that come with your phone and a ROM and all that and so I'm gonna answer a few questions before we get started some that I had on the last video one do you need to be rooted in order to change the a ROM uh, that answer is yes people say have they have done it without it I don't recommend you to do it you might break your phone or you might mess it up do not do it when it's not unrooted if you do it that's at your will I'm not responsible and I'm not responsible for doing it right now because I'm just teaching you guys if you guys do something wrong I'm not held responsible for it so number two what is the gap file I just basically said that in the beginning of the video so I hope you can go back and maybe listen to it um and then they also asked I need help for the i90 i900 one well at this website they also have ROMs for the i900 and it's basically the same as the one that I'm gonna do right now so with that being said I am downloading the files I'm gonna come back once I got the files downloaded and show you guys what to do next so now that our download is indeed done we just grab the files that we downloaded which are in uh, WinRAR format and just put in our SD card. Do not extract it. I repeat it. Do not extract it. Just grab it as it is and just put it on the SD card. Because a lot of people extract it and put the wrong files and then they mess up. So like I said in the beginning, I'm not held responsible if you not listen right and do something wrong. So this is for educational purposes. And the reason why you want to make might want to get a ROM is because this one in particular has a phablet feel to it and it looks like it's based off the CM ones and the CM the CM ROMs are usually some of the best because they have the best developers and everything so I'm gonna skip this process and I'm gonna show you guys what to do on the phone so stay tuned and give it a thumbs up for all my effort and the quality so Let's keep on going. So as you're looking on the screen as as of now, you're looking at the micro SD card and the battery slot. The reason why I focused on this was because you need to have a micro SD card because the internal storage is not as good as finding the ROM as you want. So then once you have it in, just close your phone, self-explanatory, and you press the volume down, the volume up, and the power button at the same time and it's gonna shut off turn off shut off turn off about two times i think then it's gonna go into what is known as recovery mode or well, recovery mode is where you can flash root and basically customize your phone from there you can delete your partition and your cache and once we get into that i'm just gonna fast forward with the clip and you just follow along so there we go on the clock war mod i mean on the thing and this is the recoveries 6.0.2.8 so you must have it so now I'm gonna fast forward it and just copy as I do and then I'm gonna come back
Alright, so there you go. You are officially now done. You got the ROM, you deleted the, uh, the partition, and the cache, and the first boot up is really slow, but since this clip is beat it up, it looks like it's just fast. This is the Pac-Man ROM. This has been Carlos, and hold up, I still gotta show you guys that this indeed is Android 4.2.2, and that I'm not just making something up. But, after all these little boot thingies and stuff, you will have to install it, put your, you know, your language, and connect it to your Gmail account if you have one. So, I'm just gonna skip this and go straight to the part where I'm showing you and proving to you that it's Android 4.2.2. So there's your proof, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this has been Carlos from the Geeks Tech Corner. Like it up, subscribe, and comment. And let me know if this worked for you. If you did it, till next time. Take care. Bye. <laughs>